What is up, everyone? Welcome to Max on Deck. It is Monday, June fifteenth. Try not to to burp into the mic. That would have been uh, a little bit embarrassing. Uh, shout outs to one drunk man and Brez. Thank you for the tier one subs before we got started. How you doing, Chewy? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Now I just want to burp into the mic. <laughs> Um, no, I'm good, man. It's been a, man, it's a day. <laughs> I say quarantine. I'm on summer break now. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're no longer in quarantine. You're just in summer break. Exactly. So, uh, but no, I'm good. Just been watching movies, played a lot of rocket league yesterday and today. Um, just kind of hanging out. So Monday keyboard showcase, uh, we're talking about the keyboard of the week. We will get into that. Yeah, the keyboard of the week, that'll be happening later. But uh, if you weren't here last week, we'll go through how you can enter to win that because you can win a Discord roll. I noticed it earlier this week of uh, the spe- specific keyboard of the week roll. Um, yeah, give you, give you all a chance to, uh, to Ooh, show off just- a little bit. Just thought of a new thing. Well, we could make the the keyboard the banner. I was I was actually thinking about that today too. I was like, we should make the picture the banner. But uh, but yeah, we'll probably do that. It's does it only last a week? Uh, oh. your your reign lasts a week. Uh, so your picture will be promoted, and the role will only last a week. You can win as many times as you get chosen. Yeah. Um. So uh, the role will only last a week, though. We've been toying with the idea of um yeah you know, we'll get into it later yeah yeah we'll go through it later we do have some cool ideas of what we want to do we, we kind of touched on it a little bit we were having like the entire segment was was <laughs> thought up during stream and then we talked about 
other possibilities doing like a like a tournament um at the end of the year i think that would be a cool idea so so we'll get into that a little bit more later uh, we have lots of stuff to go over today uh we have a couple different things that we kind of touched on back in our um episode on wednesday with fropsy which if you haven't watched that you can check it out on our youtube channel um and yeah there's a couple things things have kind of escalated a little bit in certain instances so uh, we want to talk about that as well as a couple other things that have kind of caught our eye in the past week um so yeah yeah man so but first what are you typing on this week or today at least today I changed like four times this week so i actually changed today and i i was messaging chewy about this because um well he had a lot to do with the board <laughs> um Just a little bit a little bit <laughs> i switched over from my uh bauer to my baka 60 today this is the number number nine baka which it actually matches my shirt i'm like there you go all about that olive i'm all green. about that like olive green so this is seracoded in od green with gmk olive so yeah i i as soon as i put it down i started messing around with it i messaged you i was like i forget how much i enjoy this board um it sits nicely between like like all my boards are really different really kind of like in how they're built um so this is using lilac switches uh, which are a tactile uh, JWK like T1 variant, and they've been filmed and lubed, um, and it it feels great. It's a nice like subtler, more subtle tactile, subtler, I love subtler that. Uh, more <laughs> more subtle tactile experience than something like the Zykos that I have on my Iron 165. So it is a nice change, um, and it being like the sandwich mount and it not being any kind of like gasket or anything, it is a little bit of it's just like a little bit stiffer on the bottom out uh, than those boards. So um, it's nice. It's nice to type on. What about you, Chewy? I have been rocking my Singa the last. I, I So I went from I went from the board I built last week to the Austin for a little bit to the Singa. Um, I just love how this board sounds. This is a polycarbonate brass plate um, with holy pandas in it. Uh, that space bar though it just it's like the best space bar that i have heard on any of my boards um plus i get to you know show off some artisans so i i really enjoy using this board like it's it's funny i always forget that while this is plastic if this was aluminum it'd be a lot harder to do this because <laughs> it'd be a lot heavier but it's still like very densely heavy um but I don't know. I just, I really like this uh, board. I'm super happy that I got it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of my, it's one of probably one of my go-tos right now. Um, my, my Baca is with someone else getting pictures done. Uh, real quick squid 60 alert, just waiting on renders, uh, typed up the interest check. Um, the other day, I just got to finalize the last few things. Um, before that goes up, but yeah, we're just waiting on renders and actual pictures uh, from someone who can take pictures way better than me. Um, and we will, it will, it, I'm, my goal is to get the interest check up sometime in the next five to seven days. And my, the other goal being, I would love to be able to talk about it next Monday that it's up and ready to go. And uh, yeah, so excited. Should be fun. Can it, Yes, Rick. It, <clears throat> Rick is the picture guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's a. It's a. That's exciting. The Baca is a great board. Which uh, Nipsey Bryant asks, was the Baca sixty a group buy or private buy? It was more of a private thing. There were some spots that were available um, into our Discord, um, and so you. There was some opportunities there, but uh, but it was mostly private. Um, Squid sixty will be pretty much the same thing, just small variations. Yeah, um, mainly in like Fi the weight and everything. Fixes. Uh, it will say Squid sixty instead of Baca sixty. Uh, the plate is going to be opened up a little bit to not be 
as exclusive to layouts. Um, so things that it was kind of one of those, I have the board I made now I'll make the board that other people might want to enjoy. So I opened up that to you backspace for people who are just wrong. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> now, if you could just force mod colored, uh, pipe, pipe key, key, if only you could just force so, that, but somehow, unfortunately, like somehow, can... yeah, unfortunate. Uh, fixed plate is the best plate though. That's, that's why I went with it because the, like I said, the only option on the first run was the caps lock. And I did that not even really thinking about people that wanted differences. It was more of, I want people who have a hot swap board to be able to use this. Yeah. Uh, or a hot. So I wanted people to go, Oh, I want to use this as a hot swap tester board or something. I didn't want to be exclusive to that. So yeah, but absolutely. Yeah, should be fun. Should be a good time. So stay tuned, join our discord. I think everything's kind of, kind of run through a, a specific channel in our discord. So if you're not in our discord, uh, be sure to join it mm-hmm. so you could get um, involved, be in the know about what's happening, not only with our content and what we've got going on, but with uh, the stuff that comes out. Because it's it's not the first time that something has come out, a product, but it, and I doubt it will be the last. So um, should be should be a good time. Favorite pair of Jordans? That's interesting. I'm gonna let Chewy answer this question first. He owns Jordans right now. I don't actually own a pair of Jordans, but I do have a favorite. I don't know. I don't know. I'll go off ones that have come out. I think my favorites would probably be, I don't own these. I never will because it's just like serious fuck you money. But the Jordan one igloos are like hands down my favorite colorway. Um, but they're like $4,500. So, <laughs> <laughs> the igloo rust pink are really awesome uh favorite ones that i own uh that's kind of asking like who's your what's your favorite <laughs> child <laughs> yeah but i feel like i don't know i feel like you've got to have a little bit of a favoritism like there's got to be a ranking you can't you can't just say like oh these are like which ones are you if you had to go out and you had to like go out and you wanted to, f- to flex as much as possible, which ones would you I, wear? Man, I don't, it's okay. The obsidians and the rookie of the years are like so neck and neck. I don't know. I probably, I will say obsidians because there's no suede. So I wouldn't worry about ruining them. Yeah. See, I, I feel you there because the obsidians are like a, it's like an easier thing, but they're more subtle. I feel like the rookie of the years, even though they're like a, it's not really like a flashy color. They are a little bit more flashy in their appearance. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, Um, for me, I would have to go with like it, like hands down, it's going to sound like a cop out answer, but the original Chicago colorway, like Chewy knows, like that's a, if they weren't like 600, I think they're even more now. Um, Like 1100. Yeah. I would get a pair, (laughs) but not because like I wear, I mean, I wear a decent amount of black. Um, I don't wear a lot of like red, mm-hmm. but um, I think they're just, they're just so classic. They look, they look great. There you go. Easy peasy. Anyway, we can absolutely uh, talk about shoes whenever we have uh, a, a big sneakerhead coming on next week, which we will reveal uh, later. On who that is, but we could talk. All, we can talk more about kicks all day long about that. Um, mechanical head pins, I love it. Um, so let's get into it. So we got a couple different things. Uh, first things first. If you guys have not seen, um, we talked about this a lot, and you know, hopefully, we don't sound like a broken record. But um, I just, flipping prices, man. Flipping prices are crazy right now. Like in specifically iron 165, but there are others. So yeah. So there's two things are coming in. Well, the, the, yeah, there's two things that I kind of wanted to touch on. And cause we talked about what we wanted to talk about today, like this past weekend, um, iron 165 prices are going insane. Um, we saw back, back when 
Wednesday, when we did the show with Fropsy, a board had sold for 1300 Now it's gone up from 1300 to now people are posting it for 1.5 to up to 2000 Whether or not that sells at the 2000 price, I don't think that one from, um, I think it's from either Singapore or Korea. Yeah, I think it's Singapore. But the, I don't know if that one that's posted at 2000 has sold yet. But I think it's kind of one of those deals. It's like just a matter of time for that one to sell. Um, it's crazy to me to think how high some of these boards are selling. I when I uh, talks about it as well. The Polaris is a board that is selling for insane prices. The Key sixty five is also selling for really really high prices, like eight nine hundred dollars. Um. These are just like triple, quadruple pricing for these boards is insane. Yeah, it's what. So there's a few things. There's a few different ways. to. Yes, it sucks that people are putting these numbers up um, and it sucks that people are buying because it kind of hurts the market price. But the problem is. The problem is it's kind of like the, the, the real issue here is that, uh, well, they're being posted for prices you can't afford, right? Yeah. These, it's a free market. Someone, you know, that there was a lot of good stuff actually in that uh, Reddit post in the comments that said, um, you know, a lot of good things are like, oh, someone should be, someone should be, uh, you know, looking after these prices. Someone should be kind of ensuring that these prices don't get too crazy. I never want to see that as, as cool as it would be. I never do because that's how you get insider trading. That's how you get stock. You know, basically what we see with stock market fraud. That's how you see stuff like that. When people are, uh, you, you can't, there's just not enough like people on this planet that would be able to withstand, you know, potentially, screwing someone over or not even screwing someone over, but just benefiting themselves. Right. Cause it's like, well, how do you, how do you get someone? Um, how do you get someone that is going to be 100% trustworthy to everybody? And then what happens if all, it only takes one time for someone to go, Hey, just raise that price up and then I'll give you some money. Yeah. And it's like, all I have to do is change one number and you'll send me $400. Like, you know, I, I, I like to think people are inherently good, but when it comes to money that starts, those wheels start turning uh, a bit, it gets a bit rough. You know, uh, I think while, you know, I was, I said this in our discord, I can go out there and post a fucking tofu for $2,000 right now. No, no one, no one will buy it. Hopefully not. <laughs> I mean, if someone bought it for $2,000, I would feel bad and send them back. $1,900, but like, just because you post something doesn't mean it's going to sell for that much. But what we do have to look at is the confirmed buy prices. And that's kind of what scares me, but also like, yeah, like it's, it's kind of supporting. We're in a, we're in a weird state in this community and this hobby where there are so many people and not enough things. Yeah. And there's like, weird stuff happening like people were it was brought up in the chat is talking about how the key 65 and the polaris these boards that are going insanely pr high priced like i'm looking at a post right now where a key 65 sold for 900 dollars, and it was a board that was completely open right like while two thousand dollars for an iron 165 is admittedly insane like that is crazy um that is a board that was limited. It wasn't, it wasn't a just open like, Hey, everyone buys whatever you want. You know, however many we sell, we, we make, whereas the Polaris were, and they're selling for triple price. Mm -hmm. Like that's crazy. Um, yeah. but I think it's one of those things. The, the markets do this, right? Like last year, Around this time, actually probably a little bit, a couple months earlier, we were in the moment where keycap selling, keycap sets were selling for insane prices. There was like a, a Serica set that sold for like $700. Olivia was regularly selling in the 400 range. 
up to even higher than that. Um, if it was sealed, good Lord, I don't know. I don't even want to know how much you would have been able to get for a sealed set of either Serica or Olivia. Those were two sets that were going for insane prices. Uh, and that kind of settled down f- throughout the year. Um, these boards are just going insane. They are going insane. And um, Jeff put it, pointed out something that I want that I wanted to talk about as well in that $2,000 post is that people were, people were talking about how the price of the iron was crazy. While I do think that that is admittedly crazy, they were defending TGR pricing and other heavy hitters, which I'm Mm -hmm. like, and they're like, well, you know, this, this company doesn't have the, the history. And it's like, I get it. They don't admittedly like this is their first run, but it's a fantastic board. And like it is done extremely well. Like it's a super high quality board and it's not, it's not meant to be like, like why, why can't they just come out of the gate and have be held in the same regard? Yeah. And I I think it's, you know, with with the iron, we've been saying this since we got our hands on it. Uh we got to try one out at the meetup <clears throat> last November. You know, I, I think I've been telling Cyrus every week, I'm like, dude, Smith and Runes, the next key cult, like this is gonna be a thing. Like this board has so much design behind it that people are going to fucking go crazy for it. And uh it's just you know, it's, it's the sign of, it's the sign of things changing when it comes to people are kind of looking for that next key cult. So there's a couple things at play here. You know, if iron 165 and Smith and room guys are the next key cult, people want to get in on these early boards that are really, really good. They want to have that first one, right? They want to have that, that very, very first run of these things. That's why Bowers are going after it. It's why you don't see Bowers being sold because people are going to hold on to them. Yeah, well, um, and if you do, they're sold for like eighteen hundred and fifty yeah. dollars, and it has a, it's got a chipped up USB port. <laughs> yeah. So the the problem with uh, the problem that I have with all of this is that they're getting outed as flippers, and I mean, say what you want, right? You have you have the freedom to say whatever you would like on Reddit. Uh, on Discord, on Instagram, on GeekHack, whatever you want to say, say it. Go for it. But the issue there is, would people be treating this the same way if they put that in a box in their closet, never touched it, and in four months sold it for that much? Because what what's happening is people are getting them in and just immediately trying to make a profit off of it. That's, I think that's what a lot of people are upset with these before even extras have gone up where now you're running into, um, you're running into this issue of, well, I can, if I hold on to it for a long time is that people aren't going to be as mad because then it's like, Oh, then the market's going to get flooded with a couple of these boards and start setting the tone. So you might be able to, but the other thing too is it's a hype board, right? So people are trying to get their money right now. Yeah. And it's, it's just a touchy situation, but at the end of the day, we don't have control over what you do with something you spent your money on. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just like anything else, right? Like we saw the same thing when we were heavily invested in magic, right? A new set comes out, the cards that everyone thinks are going to be great. Those cards go for like, if they're like a rare card, um, a mythic or, um, you know, one of, one of those, they go for insane prices. They will go for 80, $90 for a standard card. And then as the set, as people figure it out, they kind of come down, right? Um, just like anything, even shoes, right? Like, the day one or like that first like month, those shoe prices are going to be insane after release, but then it'll kind of settle off. And you think that's, that's the same thing for the keyboard community. I think it will settle off, but what worries me is that how many times are we going to have this like huge jump and what is the effect that's happening to the rest of the other boards in the community? 
in this because what I've noticed is there are other boards that are selling for even crazier prices. Like mm -hmm. someone posted a TX 60 for 600 and something dollars when the just standard color TX 60s typically sell for like 350, 400. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so like what happens with the rest of the market when something like this happens? Cause we, we've had all three of these boards all happen. This all happen to them relatively at the same time. So is that going to push the entire market aftermarket up? Yeah. Or is that going to be able to go back down? Um, because it is really like, while $2,000 or even $1,500 is a significant portion of money to spend for a iron 165 that price can be a little bit more justified in the fact that there was like 200 and 200 boards worldwide, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a limited run. Whereas type beast, thank you for the sub, the tier one sub appreciate it. Whereas something like the Polaris is a board that was made to be the price that it was. It was yeah. manufactured to be at that like sub 300 price and now they're selling for eight, $900. Like that board really has no business being that high. And it's no disgrace to the quality of the board. It's just like, mm -hmm. it shouldn't like, that's not the purpose of that board. Yeah. It's, it's just strange to me. Like, you know, if, and now if I'm how you try and fix it is like, do your part. Right you know, don't, don't buy into that. If, if you really understand that certain boards are not worth that much money. Right. Um, you know, I'm don't, don't go into buying a board saying, Oh, I can't wait to make a bunch of money off of this. Like I try and I, you know, just like someone was saying earlier, uh, I think it was Nipsey Brown. It's kind of use your boards. Where are your shoes? You know, use your boards, type on your keycaps. I would much rather spend money on, I would much rather give someone money that said, Hey, I use this for like two months, but I just, I just never liked it. I was like, okay, that's fine. You didn't like it. You have every right to sell it and you have every right to sell it at a higher price because that's not really flipping. That's like renting. And then you're just taking advantage of a situation where like, is it so wrong to go? Hmm. You know, I know this iron 165 is selling for $1,500 or, you know, $1,500, but I'm only going to sell it for 300. No, that guy's getting screwed out of $1,200. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not really anyone's place to set the market. Like mm. it's, it's interesting because we really don't know the actual true cost of the market because we don't have a like bidding system. Like if I feel like things would be much worse if we actually had a bidding system, cause then there would be wars for specific boards. Oh yeah. Right. Cause then you could like, like section things off down to like colors to where you could say, Oh, well then we'd have like maybe the plum sells for even more because there's less than the, than the Navy or the silver or gray. Um, but it's one of those things. It's just like, if I, if I had a Polaris right now, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, this board's good, but it's not it's on 800. It's not $800. Good. <laughs> think about, think about this. <laughs> like you, you have to think, you have to be like a brand new <laughs> Now, Obviously luck. Yes. A brand new key Colt. Number one. TKL is around $800 at group. I yeah. people are spending the same amount for a 60% Polaris by, by Cape ran by KBD fans designed by yeah. AIO three ran by KBD fans. That is like, just tell yourself that sentence before going and buying Polaris at that much money. Yeah. And it's also one of those things that like, how many people are sitting there doing that? Like thinking to themselves, like looking at their board and saying, is this a, you know, I paid $350 for this. Is this a, is this worth $800 to me to keep? And I think that's a lot of people that have that mindset and they see things going crazy high prices, like a key 65, right? 
it's an okay board. I haven't seen a ton of content on it, but with my experience with the other Fox Lab boards, it's going to be fine, right? The Leaf 60 was okay. It had some issues. The Orange 75, I enjoy mine. It's really loud, but it, other than that, it's it's a cool board. But they're not like insane boards. Like they're not these boards that should be selling for that crazy price. Maybe a little bit. I think there's a I think there's a cap for what these things probably could and should sell for, but it's like come on, people. Good lord. Yeah. Like so I get it. Get your money, but man, <laughs> like two grand for an iron is nuts. Yeah, that's it's all you can do, right? And you just Yeah, I mean, like it, it's one of those things like I respect the hustle. Like if someone is going to be like if they're going to commit to being a flipper, I can respect the hustle. Make your money. Like that's the thing. If the market is there, it is what it is. Like what Nipsey Bryant just said, it's going to happen. If if you make your money then okay. Do I promote that? No. But like <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> like I just wish yeah, people it, would would take some time and be like the thing that frustrates me is the the unbuilt kits, right? Like you haven't even experienced it. Like experience it. That's yeah, my thing. That's that's what pisses me off too, is it's like don't you know, and then I guess if you manage to buy two, but why would you buy two of the same board? Don't buy two of the same board. Um, well, unless you're Ling Landy and you get different ones. Because you got an F V okay. and a PC. That's different. That's, I will say that they, those are two significantly different things in its entirety. Yeah. And then on top of that, like, that's the other thing too there is, you know, is like their personal friends. So he wanted to support them in multiple ways. Uh, mm-hmm. Lang's not, you know, we know Lang, he's not flipping those. He's, he's wanting to keep those. Um, but I have an iron for, I want to just... Saturn OG said the people who are supporting 2k iron prices are other iron 165 owners. I am an owner of an iron 165 and I do not support the 2k pricing. I think that's crazy. I have said on the last stream that I think the board should settle around a $800 price. I think that is, that is fair for an aftermarket, uh, iron 165. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, it's, it's, I, I fully support that. I mean, it's, I don't think that I, there are not as many people who are hoping for aftermarket prices to go up. I think there are a lot of people that are convenienced by aftermarket prices going up and whether or not those people are, um, you know, it's, it's, it's that's kind of one of those things where I'm like, I don't, I don't really fault people for taking advantage of something someone else is doing you know, don't, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's just the, it's the situation we're in, right? Don't take this huge loss because other people are telling you shouldn't flip. Then it's kind of like, if someone says you shouldn't flip, I'm like, are you going to give me the other $400 that I could make off of this? No, you just should take that loss. I'm like, for what? No one's going to care. If you, if you go in and go, I'm going to sell my iron 165 standard edition for $600. People are going to go cool. And then no one's going to remember that you were the guy that sold it for $600. That goes out the door. If anything, most people are going to think that you made a terrible mistake. You're going to be like that outlier on like the steam community. When someone sold like a dragon lore for like 12 cents instead of like (laughs) $1,200, like by accident. (laughs) It's one of those things. It's like, And I like what Jeff said of like, make friends in the community, sell to them, maybe sell for a little bit higher. Or if you, if you do want to make your money, make your money. But like the other thing, the aspect that I think interests me more than really anything is like, what is the person that is selling for $1,500, $2,000? What are they doing with that money? Because if they are taking that $1,500 and they are putting that back into more keyboard stuff, Right, like so maybe they're buying like three or four sets and like another board. Maybe they bought the board that's up on Rama right now. I can't remember the name of it. Maybe they're buying stuff like that. Like if they're putting it back in keyboards, then I'm not like as upset because it's like it's kind of putting it back into your love for the hobby. 
but I, I don't know. It's one of those things you, you can't, it's hard to tell when it's people who are just like selling unused kits, yeah. like unbuilt kits, because it's like, is that person really even appreciating it? Like just build it, use it for a couple of weeks. If you don't like it, then sell it. Like real quick though. Um, can I get a pass on immediately selling my M zero one one zero? That's different situation. <laughs> <laughs> completely different situation. You bought that board in 2018 <laughs> and you don't have it two years later. Literally we're about to hit the two year mark. Oh yeah. Like next week. <laughs> and I'm selling it. I'm selling it for group by press. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe I can get a, maybe I can get other, a pass. The other board, the other board that I have no, that has no business being as, as expensive as it, as it is because it's been run twice and there's like a bajillion of them out there. The M 60 A's are selling for like $800. Why? That, that board is not worth $800. It doesn't even is, sound that good. Like that board is barely worth its group by price. I'm sorry. If I, I mean, I like 360, which I think is group by 360, 400 yeah. is like, Fine, cool. It's a great it's a great option for what you get out of it, I think. Like with the the hot swap and the uh, you know, if you want the fixed plate and everything and have it be um oh my gosh. I can't remember the name of the mounting style. What? You said fixed plate, integrated plate? Integrated plate. That's because that it's you're good. It's yeah, cuz it cuz it's fixed. It's 100% fixed. You're forced HHKB. Um, and it's integrated plate, which is probably should be the most like, or the most unpopular style of plate right now with the way everything has gone in the past year. Like I, I think that that, so it blows my mind that board's selling for double right now because it's not, not by, by no means is that like a popular in board. Um, but that's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> that's what i say about hhkb yeah well it, it also doesn't sound super great um here we go so okay lord k says what do you think about the double standard where some people accept flipping certain brands like tgr Kiko, but not the others there is nothing about those brands that deserve to be flipped any more than polaris imo using deserves when talking about flipping also feels like gatekeeping it is it is 100 percent Every board and no board deserves to be flip, uh, defended, right? Like, well, I think just because it's just because, like, I understand basically what the gatekeeping is. Well, this board's not a key cult. I'm like, you don't know that. Most of the people that are barking, how dare like these boards can't be flipped this way, but key cults and TGRs can, is because they probably haven't tried it. I think the factors of the price for the aftermarket should be dependent on the quality of the board. Um, the amount of boards that were made, like naturally, because of boards like TGR, Key Colt, Iron One Sixty Five, are made on a limited run. I think that those should command a higher price because there is more of an exclusivity in that run. Um, but I think it shouldn't necessarily matter a ton. Right. Like, yeah. like I think, I, I don't know. I don't think anything necessarily deserves to be sold for a higher price, but I think it'll just naturally happen. If that makes sense. It's not, it's not one of those things like no one is at a place to, to, to determine it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I got upset when someone posted something about, Oh, well this doesn't have the same uh, name value as TGR and other big brands is what they said. Um, yeah. and I'm like, it like, why are you like old shit? <laughs> because Mechanisk has been doing amazing shit for a long time. He, I mean, his boards do get flipped. They don't get flipped for 700, $800. Mechanist is doing the same stuff. I would say he brand recognition means you've made a good quality product more than a few times. Right. Well, and I and think so, that's the, that's a perfect example of there's a lot of them out there. So the prices isn't yeah. as high. Yeah. So but the the other thing there is like with brand it's 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 a fucking engraving on a board. You give me a plain board that's built exactly like the TGR Jane V2 without TGR, it's worth a third of the price. 
There's also You're possibilities paying. that these boards are made literally in the same place. We don't know. Like, <laughs> who knows? Could just be some German guy sitting in his back porch hammering these bad boys out. Who knows? But so the, here's the other thing, and this is for anyone new in this hobby. This is something Osiris and I talk about all the time. There is a lot of the old guard in this hobby. There is a lot of like the back in my day people where it's like, oh, well, TGR has been great. And then they're not ex- willing to accept. And then like he has been widely accepted and it's just starting to get that like TGR fame of like, Oh, it's just always the best. It doesn't matter what it is. Those people are going to refuse to accept anything new. You know, they're going to refuse. So the iron One Sixty Five is a fantastic board. It's designed, uh, it's design alone is crazy. And I, I I'm kind of expecting the same shit to happen with, um, uh, the evolve, you know, the evolve, the design is going to be crazy. The same shit happened with satisfaction 75, but no one really lost their shit about this, which was, is always baffling to me that satisfaction 75 basically just got a pass. It's it still like, sells oh, it's for 1200. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So it's this, it, but you know, there's kind of this like old guard of like, well, no, it's not T it's not TGR. It's not key cult. So it can't be good. And it's like, you don't know that. Yeah. You don't know that. Why? why you know people kind of freaked out about the bower some and it's like yeah but just be willing to accept people are making better and better boards every single day people are getting these boards that are all the highest of the highest boards and going i'm gonna make one better and right. they do that well because iron was one of those things where if you watched our streams with the smith and rune guys you you saw you got to hear how much work how much time they put into doing different things to make the board feel a certain way and make it super unique. Um, fat fatty taco says something new people joining are easily swayed by influencers. I think that's an interesting thing to say because it's like for the iron specifically, like not very many people have built them. Like Nathan built a prototype back in like November, right before Econ or not Econ, uh, NorCal. Mm-hmm. We've built one. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I think like Apiary might have built one like last week. Yep. Uh, I don't, I think Mentorly is going to build hers. I don't know if she's built hers yet, but it's like Lang built his. Lang built, <laughs> Lang built his this past weekend, which I'm going to give him a pass because you can't buy the polycarb one. <laughs> um, but talk about ultimate flex yeah the ultimate flex it's like a i don't know how many of those there are uh but i don't think it's like necessarily even influencers that are doing anything about these it's just it's people see these boards the iron 165 is a board that has been in like every key set render since the uh the board was put into ic um it's it's just been out there like people well, have the, seen it. The other thing, too, I guarantee you the people that are flipping these boards don't give a fuck what content creators say. Also true. Well, yeah. it's not that the it's not the, that that oh. and it's the it's the people who are willing to pay that. Right. Like it's it's the content creator that's saying this is the greatest thing ever. Right. That makes people say it, it puts more value in the board than maybe is necessarily reality what sucks right now too is we don't have like KeyCon was supposed to be this past weekend where a lot of people could have gotten a chance to try some really awesome boards that's what sucks right now right you can't go try out these boards and see like like you you can go out and test an iron 165 the iron 180 is coming soon people are going to judge the 160 you can go out and judge the 165 by how that feels and go oh i know this is good so i know i'm going to want that that board's going to go crazy. That board is going to be very difficult to get in on already just because there's going to be, a, there's a lot of hype already around the 165. So those, that board is going to continually grow and gain this reputation that this, you know, it's kind of the next key cool. I've said it not because I'm trying to inf- influence hype because I believe it. That's the other thing too, is Typically, Osiris and I, we've talked, we talked a lot about this before we even started Mech, uh, Mechs on Deck, and we've talked a lot about this probably every single month, 
where we do try and watch what we say because we understand if you say one thing's the best, then some people might take that as the best. But there are also times where it's like, I genuinely believe that the Iron 165 is one of the best boards that I have typed on because I went over there and I typed on it and I was like, holy fuck balls. Yeah. And the bow is a board that I've typed on. I'm like, I've typed on hundreds of boards and those two boards are easily in the top 10 of typing field. So, yeah, I mean, even like I told Chewy, I'm like, I don't really know what I want to even get next. Like, I'm not even like looking for boards, really. Like, I don't necessarily have a want because I'm like, I have a power and I have an Iron 165 and I'm super happy with both of them. And they are like completely different boards, too. Like, could not be more different. Like, other than the fact that they're both 65%. (laughs) Casket mount boards. Well, yeah, but like everything else, like palm plate versus brass, mauves versus zykos, like (laughs) super smooth linear switch, the most tactile switch you can get on MX. (laughs) So it's like, they're, they're so different, but yeah, they're, they're both great boards. And it's like, should I have to not say that? Like, do I, I get, need, do I need to be worried that because we have people watching us and people look at our YouTube channel, people look at our Instagram, should I say, Oh, well this board's okay. No, yeah. like I want don't to, lie. yeah. Lie. So it's like when but people I, are like, Oh, influencers. And also please don't ever call us any, please don't ever call people influencers. Also don't and be influenced by either of us. <laughs> That's also true. But, like I gave Nathan Kim a lot of shit about the whole creams thing, which it was like, a joke, yeah. which people didn't like understand. Yeah. But on top of that, it's like at the end of the day, if, if you can say, Oh, he shouldn't say that he should be more responsible. It's like, no people need to understand that these are opinions by people and they shouldn't be taken to heart. Yes, I agree. Creams are amazing. I love creams. They're my favorite linear switch hands down. If you can get your hands on them, go for it. I think it's a great switch, but I, I think that people should stray away from definitive statements, but there shouldn't, you know, I should be able to say, I, I think this is the best switch, like, or the best this is my favorite switch. I think uh, staying away from the best. Well, but, I mean, I think you could say the, this is the best X I've felt, yes, right? Yeah. This is the best one to me people. But the, the problem is that some people will take that and go, he said, it's the best. Therefore it's the best. Or she said, it's the best. Therefore it's the best. No, understand that, you know, you can like what they say. And like, like there's, I have a great, I have this really great friend Grindbox. He and I are other outside of keyboard layouts. Our opinions could not be more of the same of just like spring weight and tactility and feel and switches that we love. and all these other things. And so I know based on, I'm like, Oh, if he says he likes something, I'm going to try that because genuinely I do that. So if you're watching this and you're like, I really like heavier springs and I put really heavy linear springs in my uh, switches and all that. You might want to go, Hey, I, if Dave likes something, I might like something because we like a lot of things. But if you're sitting there with 55 gram red inks, fuck red inks. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you're sitting there with red inks going, I love, this is my favorite switch. I'm probably not the person you want to listen to when it comes to switch advice. Yeah. Well, and that's like the thing. It's like when you go looking for, like, that's the reason why there are, there's not just like one like tech YouTuber, right? There's like a bajillion. It's like why Paul's hardware. Uh, I almost said awesome sauce network, but it's bitwit now. And it's been bitwit for like three years. I- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, Jay's two cents and Linus, they can all exist and hardware connects. They, those guys can all exist within the same like exact space because their opinions are all different, right? Like, you know who to go for, you know, who to go to if you want certain things or if you're looking for a certain product, cause maybe you vibe with that person in a certain way. And like, it should be the same thing for, for keyboards. Like you shouldn't have to feel like, like, Content creators shouldn't have to feel like they have to change the way that they talk about things. Also, Gamers Nexus, they do a lot of work. They're like the most nerdy. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't have to like change the way you feel. 
you shouldn't have to change the way you feel, the way you talk about a product because you're afraid that it's going to get like super overhyped or that people are going to give you crap for it for like, like someone giving someone else crap for stating that they like something. Come on. You saw my video. About Mexican food. And I smoked a special cigarette and went a hundred dollars at my. <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but I hope you enjoyed your food. I don't even know what that sentence is supposed to. Anyway, I think we've talked enough about flipping. Um, we were talking about El Queso. Oh, yeah. The cheese, El, Queso dude. Is the best. El Queso is the best. Um, but yeah, make your own decisions. Don't screw yourself over. Understand that this is a free market. Try your boards. Under- try your boards. Type on your boards, man. Build your boards. If you don't want to build it, send it to us. We'll build it for you. I love my I my love my Austin and it looks so pretty in my background, but I easily use this the least <laughs> because of its just size. <laughs> like I use that and I use my Alice are like kind of bottom two just because they're harder to use. And my Alice usually is at work. So I give that one a pass. But uh type on your boards, people. That's what they're for, right? Not to sit in boxes. We didn't actually touch on the the wrecked and savages that were selling before people even got them. Like an hour oh, after the, um, <laughs> don't buy a board and you're gonna flip. At least have the fucking like, at least get it. <laughs> get it. Like, what happens if it gets fucked up in shipping? Like, fuck you. That's that's all I say to those people. Like, if you're buying a board that's an in stock board and you beat somebody and then flip it. Like, fuck you. (laughs) I just, I saw that. And that's like, I saw that on Saturday, right after the, the buy, like not even, it was probably like three hours and there was already like a couple want to buys and like a couple of them have been taken down. And there was some people that sold it that did delete their post because I tried to find it. I'm like, really? People like there was a dude that was like, I'm willing to take a B or C stock. I don't care. I'll pay extra. And I'm like, I mean, I get it. You want the board, but like, man, that's like a rule though on mech market. I think you have to have the board in because you have to have, you have to like be able to timestamp it. Right. Or maybe I guess, you know, people are obviously like looking to buy, but yeah, it does, it's just one of those of things. Get- it's like, it's another situation where it's like, that's defeating the entire like purpose of the model that Canon keys is trying to put forward of doing in stock stuff. Right. Like, of saying, hey, we're doing more. We've got these, like instantly, as soon as the, the, the board sold out, he posted saying, we have these on order. We're ordering more of, of the wrecked. Um, stay tuned. There's going to be more coming soon, right? Wow. ATX Vagrant, what's up? Yeah, anyway, just at least do the fucking courtesy of getting the board in hand before flipping jesus christ anyway um yeah fuck those people let's talk about everglide switch <laughs> or am i going out of order i may be going out of order um we're we're websites first we're websites. going, we're going okay. backwards we started with flipper so, then now we're going websites then yeah. we go switches so osiris is going to pull up this website we talked about this uh within the last year uh a couple a couple months ago keyboard university keyboard.university um we thought that it quick basic rundown um we thought it was a good idea we thought it was executed for the most part okay uh we did say that it was a little goofy that it just seems like it's one giant ad for the key company um while if the key company is making it you have free reign to implement your ads but just know that it kind of looks and it might deter people from um, from wanting to show this to other people. Uh, so, you know, it might go, Hey, I don't, you know, it might, it, it, if you're just selling something as a giant, like ad, then it just kind of rubs you the wrong way. Um, so it's, you know, like I said, it's got good information. I think the one thing, so I looked at this earlier today. The one thing I don't really like about this is, there's a lot of like cautionary tales that need to be told in this community, right? Like we, when it talks about group eyes, I didn't really see a whole lot about like, Hey, by the way, people have been fucked. 
one <laughs> group of us. Like, hey, by the way, there's a chance that you might never see your money again or your product. You might, you might just get fucking luminated. So just be careful. Like, I, I, I feel like there should be. There's a lot. There, this community is amazing. This hobby is awesome. I fucking love this hobby. There are a lot of things you have to fucking stay away from. Lord K, oh my god. He Copyright. Goes, he goes, is there an article on avoiding copyright infringement? <laughs> What's the opposite of pink? What's the opposite of the word color pink? Oh man. Just look that was up good. color. That was like, good. Um, so there wouldn't be because one, they haven't really done anything with this. So that's like the the entire reason we're talking about this right now is because nothing has been done. <laughs> They updated some pictures and they've messed around with layouts, but nothing has been done, which is like the main reason why we talked about it initially is the fact that we wanted to see continuous updates, continuous improvements doing more. It's not like it's been two weeks. It's been like four or five months at this point, I think since, since the site came out and there hasn't been any new courses. Um, They've done some things with these resources and they've got one guide on here. But other than that, like there's no real updates to this at all. Yeah. And, and you know what, uh, Jeff Leopard, I will, I will agree with you on that. It is, it is a very, uh, it is a large task. It is a monumental task. This is something that is, Difficult to do. I was talking with Langlandia the other day, and if you guys haven't seen it, uh, he's doing there. He and I am me. You are you are doing this new show called Cal and Oats, where they kind of go over. Um, if you search for it on YouTube, it is not what you would expect to come up. It is just workout stuff. It's oops. Cal and Oats. I'm it's dumb. Oops. 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 But here, I'm going to post the link to this video. Um, I would check this out. Good stuff. I am you are you very good. And Langlandia are very close friends. Tiny shiny crumb. Haven't gotten a chance to meet her, uh, but I've talked to her multiple times within a, uh, within chats and Twitch and stuff. They're doing great stuff. And I was talking to them. I was like a lot of the videos that we made and we just don't really make straight to YouTube videos like we used to anymore. Well, we do more like showcases and typing tests and all that, but we don't do like full on discussion episodes anymore. We just do them on Twitch now, but you know, our, our content evolved and I was talking with them about, I was like, a lot of this stuff is outdated already. You know, it's, it's a year old and our group by episodes is it's outdated. No, it's it unfortunate. It's like it's the stuff that we talk about. It's already cycling out. It's already information that, well, a lot of the stuff there is fine. A lot of the stuff there is going to be helpful. A lot of it's outdated and a lot of it, you know, and we've, you know, Cyrus and I have talked about it, but like, we don't have a whole, you know, there, if we decided to sit down and make a video in six months, it would be outdated to get. Yeah. Well, and like, that's the same thing with like, with something like this and the keyboard university, the whole goal is to, to do so, something that continually updates that is educational and is up to date and give is used as a resource to help bring people into the community and educate people. But if you're not updating it and you're not adding new content to it, it's like there's really not a point to it in yeah. my opinion. Like it's just it's one of those things it's like, "Oh, that exists." Like and it's one of those things I get it like what you said and Jeff said it's like it needs it's a monumental task. And it is, but it's like, if you're going to go out of the way and you're going as a business to venture into something like this, you got to go full force. Like you can't just make this pretty website that admittedly was really, it's, it's a good website. Like it yeah. is, but it needs, it needs to be updated. It needs to be, uh, it needs to have more things added to it regularly and, yeah, and have so new content. Yeah, so I'm going to pick apart one thing on this because there, if you want to make a a intro to keyboards thing, that's perfectly fine. If you want to make like a little blurb or here's a blog, here's an article that's just why you should get into keyboards, a couple of different things about 
layouts and switches and caps and all that stuff, that's totally fine. It says right here, the first and last resource you'll ever need for mechanical keyboards. I don't care if you, if they said it's the, the first place, the landing zone of your mechanical keyboard journey, then it doesn't, it doesn't need to be updated as much. If it's like the landing zone, if it's where you get sent first, the fact that it says and last, the first and last, there is not information on here that is going to tell you everything you need to know and you don't have to go anywhere else or you will be behind. You are reading a textbook that is outdated. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like, it's you venture into something like this, you gotta keep it up. Like, we have nothing against the the people that are behind this. Like, I have nothing against the people at Key Company. Nothing against the other people that are involved. We're we're buds with a lot of the people that are involved in this. But it's like, come on, man. Just it, it'd be nice to see an update that's not just put a picture of finicky grain. And, you know, and that just, I, I have a hard time directing people to that when I know that I'm like, Oh, it, 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 uh, it is what it is. Right. It's, and it did, it did get tactile I do think it launched early. It launched a, a little bit too early. Um, if this was something they updated monthly, then sure. But well, it's, it, it, that's the thing is it's, it's not like it, it's been two weeks or a month. It's been like three or four months since it came out. So it's like, we're at a point now where it's like, okay, well, if this is what your, com- your commitment to it is, because you would expect if they're super committed to it, that first like two weeks would be like huge updates, right? Like it's like when you first start streaming, a lot of people stream like every day, right? They'll yep. stream as much as possible and then they trail off. Like it, it, you got to have a schedule. You have a schedule of updates, schedule of uh, you get a plan. Out. Yeah. So we've seen it. We've seen the keyboard streaming. You know, people get burnt out. I get it. I understand. We we often talk about, oh, let's add a fourth day. And I mean, even after doing the Mech Madness stuff, I remember, you know, we were, you know, with quarantine putting us at home, I, it prevented us from having these super duper long work days, but. You know, Cyrus and I even talked about it. It was like, it's, it's hard streaming four times a week. It adds, that's a, it's, it's a lot. Well, the big thing with that was the more of the, like me not having a living room and you having to drive yeah, well, over here. That, yeah, I, but, I could handle, I mean, I used to stream every night for, yeah, for like but, four or five but months. <laughs> it, it, it becomes a thing, right? Where you don't, you also yeah. don't want to oversaturate yourself. There's yeah. a difference between video gaming every single night. Cause it's, you can, it's you one of those things eight hours a day on a video game, but when there's keyboard stuff and there's content and you have to have boards and you have to have topics, right? The content has to be there to support it. Shit yeah. To talk about it, so, but, but keyboard university, we could, we, we would love to see an update. I don't, you know, I, I feel like we shit on them. We would love to see an update just because it's, it's like high hopes, right? I want this to be good. I would love for this to be this awesome website where we could you know show people hey this is kind of the first place and last place you'd ever have to go we would love that to for that to exist but right now it does not yeah it's not doing its literal mission statement (laughs) so but anyway let's talk about some switches yeah we're gonna talk about the everglide dark jade black mechanical switch um, so this has been, I feel like it's been a little bit controversial in a sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a new switch from Everglide. Um, chances are good. It's really just the stem that's new. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Everglide switches, they are, uh, they are the manufacturers of the alpacas slash, uh, lilacs, mauves, T1s, H1s, literally all those switches that say Everglide or Duroc, they're all made in the same place. Um, Spoilers. Yeah, they're all the same thing. They just change around the spring. So these are these are a little bit different. The stem is longer. Uh, it looks to have a different like profile. I can't remember. There was a picture 
think it's actually in this video somewhere um, where he shows them side by side with a holy panda and a T1. Is it in this? No. But it is a different stem. Uh, it looks a little bit more similar to what the the Halo True or Clear stem looks like. Um, what are your thoughts, Chewy? There's 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 a lot going on. A lot going on with these. Hype Beast brings up a great point. They have existed before. They're they're kind of new to our I, area. At this point, I don't care, man. I'm so I listen. I read this this little blurb about them, right? Their little like intro. Stop fucking comparing everything to Holy Pandas. They've already been they've already been matched. They've already been beat in terms of tactility. They've already been beat in terms of sound. I'm not fucking and I'm not no, I'm not sitting here talking about Zykos. I'm because Zykos is not a manufactured switch. I'm talking about manufactured switches. Zelio V2s are more tactile. Fight me. Blueberries sound just as good, if not slightly better. Fight me. Like they are that other things are already that good. It doesn't need to be stop. Like we've already beat the Holy Panda and we've beat it into the fucking ground. Yeah. Like it's, I don't care. Does, is, does it sound good? And does it have a nice bump? That's all I care about. It, I find it interesting that the take of, of this and the, the angle that drop is taking with these switches because like, Realistically, they're only they're the only one that's making like holy pandas, like in their mm-hmm. actual like form, right? Like everywhere else, you got to buy the true or clear um, Halo clear uh, switches from them, and then you got to buy from Novel Keys or wherever you can get your panda housings. But it's like, why are they marketing it as? like towards the Holy Panda and being like the same or rivaling the Holy Panda and feel and tactility. Um, granted we don't know anything about these other than what is on this page. Cause we haven't tried them. Um, hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy these cause they are kind of expensive. They're like $68 for 70. Yeah. $68 for 70. So a little bit less than a dollar a switch. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not really, I'll, tax, I'm sure I'll try them at some point. <laughs> like not worry about it. I don't, at this point, I don't care. I, I don't like, I'm sure they're great. I'm sure that they're awesome. At, at where I'm getting to the point where there are so many good switches that it doesn't matter. You know, I've got, I don't know if I can honestly give you a top four right now because not only are there a lot of really good switches out, there are a lot of Franken switches that I really like. Like I love Holy Pandas. I really do. I really like the blueberries. I really like Zykos. I really like Alpacas. I really like creams. I like these boards in different variations of them, of each other. Like I like different spring weights and different lubes and all that. I've already got like six switches that I really, really enjoy. I'm not concerned. Like if, if you want them, go get them. If someone thinks, Hey, these are great. It's a good, it's a good way. They're a little bit pricey. In my opinion, I think you, if you're looking for something really, really tactile and you want to save some money, in my opinion, go for blueberries. Um, not trying to sell against these. I haven't tried these. I can say that I really like blueberries. I can't say whether or not I like them. I'm sure I probably would. Um, but I just, I'm getting tired of the, like, let's just relate these to Holy Pandas. It's, it's just, it's growing, it's growing old on me. Like what, one thing I loved about blueberries is I was like, thank God he didn't say it's the next Holy the next Panda. Holy Panda. He uh, just said it's fucking tactile switch. And I was like, thank God. You know who else is really tired of, of everything being related or just like the general discussion about the Holy Panda. Birthday boy. And that is the creator of the Holy Panda. Just want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Quakums. It is his birthday today. Uh, so you should go bombard him with happy birthday in the top clack server. I don't know if he's watching right now, um, but I sure do love him. And, uh, do that and also at him in our discord. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I at him at happy birthday. Just at for the Quakums. record, I didn't say this, Brian. It was Chewy that said, do this. So, yeah, go for it, man. Um, Happy birthday, Quakums. 
but yeah, happy birthday to him. Um, but I think, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things we need more switches. These look to be good. They had a great review by Mr. Tay keyboards in this actual, in the actual post. Uh, he talks about how they compare to, well, the Holy Panda. Um, but I am kind of excited for these to come out and try them uh, with a lot of the Duroc Everglide switches. It's not something that I'm necessarily interested in trying to purchase first off. Like I'd rather let them come out me, try them and then buy them because like with the T1, I wasn't super happy with the way it came out. Um, and that was before I realized, Oh, if you put a film on it, then it's going to feel better. Uh, and it's going to not feel really awkward. Um, so I'll be interested to see these once they come out and then maybe I'll look at buying some cause I know you can buy these. Like I think you can even buy them on AliExpress right now. Um, so I think it's cool uh, that more switches are coming out. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's great. I'm, I'm just salty about things. Just, there's not that like in the linear world. It's not like everything's always the next vintage black vintage like no one cares about that it's always oh it's the holy panda holy panda holy panda uh type east i have not heard of sp star switches so yeah, i haven't that's either. not had the pleasure of trying them it'd be like that sometimes but um so those are our topics we can let's take a few questions first before we do keyboard of the week so if you guys, I'm going to go through our sponsors real quick. If you guys have questions, hit at Mix on deck and we will respond to them accordingly. And then also while we do keyboard of the week, we'll try and, you know, answer those as well. But um, first and foremost, our sponsors, switchmod.net slash Mex on deck for 4% off uh, springs caps, other, um, other awesome group buys and stuff that will be coming up at this exact moment. I believe he is running the group buy for a pre-order for the H87, uh, the Heine Bush TKO. Um, so be sure to check that out. Uh, next up, Dixie Mech. You go to mechsondeck.dixiemech.com. Pick up GMK Moto Round 2, um, as well as those awesome little fancy keyboard ca- or keycap holders. They're out of stock so, right now. They're out of stock. They are out of stock. Be on the lookout. I am sure he will restock in the coming months. But Moto Round 2 is a fantastic set. I highly recommend getting in on it. Uh, Mexondeck.project.link for Project Keyboard. Nothing at the moment, but keep an eye on. Just you know, go ahead and book the, big, blah, bookmark that. Uh, LNG keycaps. was announced. L- a what? The f- uh, Mr. Keeb's board that is running. That's running like, oh, next okay. week. Uh, there you go. So yeah, keep an eye out for that next week. Uh, bookmark that link. And then canakeys.com slash Mexon deck to get pick up cat explosion. As well as on the lookout for more awesome boards. And our partners also uh, Type Beast, Smith and Rune, and Zap Cables. Zap making the best cables. Type Beast, who has one of the best newsletters in our uh, community as well as Smith and Rune selling high quality two thousand dollar keyboards. <laughs> Sorry, that too. Awesome boards. Be on the lookout if you don't want to spend two thousand dollars on an Iron One Sixty Five. Be on the lookout for extras. Um, Tactilitarian. I think you should pick up Moto Round Two because Minimal Round Two is coming as well. So it's like you're gonna kind of feel like, man, what the hell? Why did I pay this much? You can, yeah, on group buy alone, you can buy both of those with some extra kits for yeah. 300 Is So, yeah, so $300, right? So you could get both Moto Round 2 and Minimal Base Kits because Minimal Round 1 Base Kit was $99. So I'm assuming Round 2 is going to also be $99. It might. I, 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 would, I would be very surprised if it wasn't $99. So it depends. Do you want two kits and a hundred bucks or one base kit? Yeah. When is minimal round two? We have no idea, but it is happening in the next couple months. I can't imagine it's going to take very long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dixie doesn't typically wait a super long time. He's not like, Oh, this stays an interest check for like six months. And then now it runs. It's only like, yeah. it's typically like pretty quick. So he ain't fucking around with that. 
So, um, keyboard of the week. So before you start posting pictures, give me one quick sec. So we're going, like I said, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing, I'm trying to figure out how to do slow mode and I am completely forgetting how to do it. In Discord? But, uh, yeah, not mute. What am I looking for? It's somewhere around here. Um, um but <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing. So keyboard of the week, we talked about doing this big, like end of the year thing, right? So every winner and every winner's picture is going to go up and kind of have like our own little mech madness, which I can't guarantee that we will give something away, but I am sure we will come up with something to give something away. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there will be something. I mean, this is a, that's a, it's a long way. Yeah. We don't have to figure out what we give away until like six months from now. (laughs) Or five months from now. So. So, yeah, but we do. Okay, there it is. All right. So if you guys want to head on over to the Discord, I have put a one minute slow mode. So here is the rule on keyboard pictures. I have put slow mode on. You can only put one picture. We do highly recommend It is a picture of the board you are using as we kind of do our keyboard. What are we typing on this week? That's kind of what it's geared for. But if you just have a really nice picture of your board, we can't really prove it. We're not going to make you timestamp anything. Um, So, and then how it's going to be done is we're both going to pick our kind of our favorite, unless there is a hands down favorite from both of us, then that will win. And we'll put it up to you guys to vote. So it will be a weekly thing. Start posting your boards to the keyboard pictures channel in our discord. Um, And we'll take a look at them on stream and we'll, we'll kind of pick them. They're coming in, coming in hot. Yeah. It's, um, I I mean, Osiris and I are like huge into like tournaments and putting stuff against each other and all that fun stuff. So it's just, it's fine. We get to see some cool boards, get to see uh, what you guys have put your hard earned money and hard earned uh, time and effort into stash. We are doing keyboard of the week. The other cool part is you get a special role. And then starting this week, we will, uh, we'll put your picture up as the banner maybe with a little Mexon deck logo on the bottom. Um, get in there, bud. Yeah, dude, stash, get in there. We'll, we'll replace the dude. Where's my key <laughs> picture. Um, and your board will be on the banner, uh, for that week. Um, L vision. I think your key noob. I got yeah, your Instagram. That's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That you're <laughs> just, I don't know if you, it's on Instagram. She's literally like, her sister was like carrying around the stabs that she won. <laughs> they haven't gotten her board yet, but we're going to, we're going to get on that. I'm excited Working to see what you got. Ooh, 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 cigar, cigar and that, everything. You know, star stone, that <laughs> looks like a night of like, like you're prepared. Like that's a night of just enjoyment and relaxation. Yep. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to show these off here in a little bit. We can actually start showing them off. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we already got a look. We got some good one. We got some bangers, some certified, certified, certified. bangers. <laughs> I sent Chewy. Uh, so there's a mug that I want to get, or that I'm actually. I, See, man, you to me at like <laughs> like four in the morning. <laughs> it was two thirty. To be fair, whatever. whatever. <laughs> so there's. Oh, I just opened it up so you can see it. So I'm gonna take that away. Um. So <laughs> it's, it's by a band called, uh, Bill Murray, which is, he used to be in a band called attack attack and he has a mug that says certifiably thick bangers. <laughs> I just remember getting that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, so be on the lookout. Certifiably thick bangers mug will be presenting itself on stream soon. 
If you ever want to peek into our relationship, by the way, it's like pretty standard conversation throughout the days. We talk some days, some days we don't talk some days, you know, if, if we're not streaming, we might, we'll probably talk more when we're not streaming. When we are streaming, we probably don't talk as much unless we need to talk about something for that night. Um, but then at like midnight, shit gets real strange. <laughs> links, links to YouTube get sent <laughs> that are really fucking weird. Oh, that, so, you didn't like the, the Bill. Did I send you a Bill Murray song? I think so. Did I? You sent me a lot of songs Is that it? I'm like, you know, I'm never going to listen to this. No, you should listen to it. That's why I sent it to you. Listen to it because I'm not going to send it to you if I don't think you would somewhat enjoy it. I love you it. listen to it, Dave. I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it the old 30 second try. I sent you an issue song. It's literally like Justin Timberlake vocals on top of like heavy riffs that are like super melodic. Actually really good. I sent it to you because I knew you would like the vocal styling. <laughs> is it actually Justin Timberlake or is it no, somebody? No, it's someone who's like probably better at singing than Justin Timberlake. How dare you? I'm kidding. I'm not, I don't defend Justin Timberlake in any way. Uh, I don't have anything against him. That sounds weird. I'm taking a, I'm taking a weird stance on someone I don't care about. <laughs> um, so anyway, this board, this first board. Yeah. Mizu on a Tomo 50. V2, I think. Nice arties, some nice arties. Arties, boys. Are Zyko's a meme or are they actually worth the investment? That's up for you to decide. I feel like the answer to both of those is yes. It's a little it bit is, of a um, meme. Also a fantastic switch. Um, I like this. I don't see the Twee and La. The, the Twee La uh, caps very often when people have Mizu. So yeah, it's, I'm that. not a huge fan of them, honestly. But yeah, well done. Good little matching cable. I like the, the blues that don't exactly match up. It's just kind of a blue overall theme. So solid. So this next one, I believe this is, is this JTK Aqua? Is that the name of it? I know it's JTK. I don't know. I think, I mean, it definitely is JTK. Why didn't we come to KeyCon? Are you talking about the discord one? If you're talking about the discord one, we were not uh, invited. So, um, well, we were not like, well, to be a part of it. Yeah, we weren't we're, like we knew about it, but I was like, I was like, hey, I'm gonna play video games. <laughs> so, um, so J, I I can't remember the name of this JTK Aqua. Okay, sweet. All right, yeah, JTK Aqua, solid looking board. I love the color scheme. I love the use of the novelties and the numero. We don't see that like ever. Um, so yeah, really cool. Yeah, I think it looks good. I like it. I set that you don't see very often because JTK just kind of gets hated on a lot. Next hopefully step. they're up and coming. Man. Hopefully what? Hopefully it's up and coming. I want to see some more. I want to see people rival it. But up next, next up. Uh, is this, what, what board is this? I have no idea. It's not a singer. It's not a singer. Ron DG, what board is your polycarbon at 75%? Yeah, it's polycarb 75, GMK, Jupiter. DMG, Jupiter. Jupiter 75. I completely oh, yeah, forgot. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the, yeah, no. Fuck this board. This is the one, no, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't fuck this board. But this is the one that, like, destroyed Mech Madness for a lot of people. This is oh, the one yeah. that beat, uh. I forgot about this. <laughs> it, 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 I can't remember what it beat. I think it beat the, uh the FC 65 in like the first round. Hmm. That's funny. Doesn't this board have like a hole in the bottom? I think this board has a hole in the bottom. I don't know. Ron DG. Regardless, it looks fucking sweet. I'm going to, I'm I'm points off for the pipe key, not being (laughs) no hole, no hole, Uh, but I love the theme. This set DMG is such a cool set. Uh, If you haven't seen it in person, um, accent played it. Yeah, there it is. If you haven't seen the set in person, the set in person is beautiful. Um, but you know, and and it, I think it captures it pretty well on uh, this picture. But the set, I just, 
I personally not a huge fan of the set when it comes there. Are, there are small details that I don't really like, like the mod uh, where it's just, it's all alpha or uh, not alpha. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, not icons, but just all words, whatever word I'm trying to think of. Oh, for um, the modifiers. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I like it. I'll, it's got alpha colored pipe key. Oh, yeah. Text mods. Thank you, Tommy. I don't know why I couldn't think of text. But yeah, uh, I don't like all text mods. So, but. um, I don't necessarily care about the mods as much. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I think it looks great. Uh, DMG is a is a cool looking set. This looks cool. Yeah. Uh, Mick Eggroll. Nothing is actually wrong with the pipe key. Osiris and I just really like. Uh, mod color pipe keys, not alpha color pipe keys. I think he was memeing. Oh, well. He was me me memeing. Memeing? Yeah. So, because we talked about how we, earlier, how we could wish we could force mod colored pipe key. If he's not memeing, you just assume everyone's memeing. So then you're no, you don't get got. Don't you know Twitch, Chewy? That's how this works. Uh, apparently not. That's just a good way to cover up that you're, oh, I always, I never can get got. Exactly. All right. Next up, this is a, a Mysterium TKL, which is pretty cool looking by Miss Ellie Vision. She's got a nice little bear on there. And then this is a DSA Magic, Magic Girl. No, it's not. Yeah. Is it a magic girl? I thought it was. I don't think it's magic girl. Magic girl is more magic girl has like green in it. Astro Astro Lokis. Yeah. This looks awesome. This did this set awesome. run on drop? This set ran on drop, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it ran on drop. First set on drop. There it is. It's Looks good. I like it. It's very girly, but that also fits. It's, so, it's very uh, bright and pastelly at the same time. So, next up we have um, the aesthetic picture. <laughs> uh, we've got the Alf X Two. I think is that. I think is the X Two. Uh, I remember really wanting this board a long ass time ago. Um, so it's GMK hyperfuse, lots of other things going on right there, especially you got the Rama M six a or B. I don't know which one you have. Um, I would assume a, but that's the cool board because it's got that kind of purple accent. If you can see, um, in that picture, it's actually got a little purple accent. Uh, on the board itself. So it matches so well with hyperfuse X three Renova. X- so yeah, uh, there, like, there was like four different X boards that came out like in 2017, 2016, 2018 area. Yeah. He's got a lot yeah. of stuff going on in this picture. I like it. Shout outs to the Apollo twin. I also am using an Apollo twin currently. That's what this mic is connected to into my PC. Um, yeah, I think this looks great. Like I said before, you got yourself a night of relaxation and enjoyment in front of you. You can even play around with that little pocket operator thingy for like if you're just wanting to chill, have a good time. There you go. Easy peasy. So what do we got up next? Up next, we have got what looks like a Tofu 65, I think. Uh, that's now the tofu 65 doesn't have a blocker. I can't tell. It's a 65% with GMK dots. Savage. Yeah. Savage. Savage. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of boards on the top. Look the same. Rectangles. (laughs) Rectangles can only look so rectangles. What was the last one? you just joined. That was a, uh, Alf X three Renova. I'm going to go ahead and Very assume that the, yeah, I'm going to assume that that will never run again because of the fact that Alf is gone. It won't run as Alf. <laughs> <laughs> um this looks cool. Although that layout by the way, if you want that layout, Rama's about to run 
a board that literally has that. I think it, it started the Zenith yeah. or whatever. Yeah. The Ion Zenith, it, it's running right now. Comes in a nice olive color, which if you can't tell by my shirt and my keyboard, I per, I like that color. <laughs> yeah, Alf agreed to wine. Alf is gone, but uh, debatable on whether or not they're actually gone. But yeah, we got Dots on this Savage 65. Dots, great, great keycap set. Um, just very unique. Don't have to worry about layout restrictions. <laughs> goes, goes for a lot of things. So it's, it's just, a, I think anytime I see a board with dots on it, I just, I really do like it a bunch because it's just clean. Low key. They I just, don't like dots. Hot take. Hot take. I, th- I can appreciate it, but I just, I would never purchase that set. Would never, uh, these are from, these are one above all. These are from our keyboard pictures. If you would like to be entered in the keyboard of the week competition, you can put a picture of a keyboard in the keyboard pictures channel of our discord. We'll take a look mm-hmm. at it and then we'll figure out which ones are our favorites and let y'all decide which one is the best. So next up we have stash builds board. This is his Osa with camping. I feel like he's playing with you, Chewy. <laughs> I feel like yeah, he is. Those- our caps were, were mine. Yeah, no, I know that. I know that. I think <laughs> this is right. pandering. pandering to you. I mean, it looks good. It does look good. It's, it's an Alice board. I think that he could have gone with a different escape key. That is true. I think he could have gone with a different escape key as well as a different pipe key. And it probably would look a little bit better. Um, you know, there, I am pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there are three gray boards, gray osas in existence. It's this one and then both of ours. Yep. Uh, someone's gotten theirs uh, Cerakoted. But, but even then, it's, it's Cerakoted. Cerakoted. Yeah. So solid board, though. Cannot complain. Um, next one is a nice grubby iris <laughs> by Zark. Uh, with some Max Key SA. Oh man, I just went blank on the name. Uh, um, oh, I can't remember. O. I feel like it starts with an O. Looking this up. That thing is loved and well used. Leviathan. That is what it is. Okay. It does not start with an O. Leviathan. Baby. It was one creative mind set. Maybe that's yeah, what you got I, the re- o from. I, I kept. I kept. Well, I kept thinking uh, octopus. Oh yeah. I'm like fucking octopus. I am super late. What's up, Lang? How you doing? Uh, we're judging other people's keyboards. <laughs> yeah, we're just judging chat's keyboards. Um, so, I like Leviathan. Um, I can't see a lot of the board, but it looks good. It also has a little bit of dirt on it. But you know what? Hey, all of our keyboards Lang. have dirt on them. Lang, we haven't used the audio yet. We will do that. I'll, well, I haven't discussed that with Osiris yeah, yet. Yeah, I didn't even know there was audio, so blame that on Chewy. Oh, exactly. Uh, I want to make a split. I don't know whether to go. I don't know whether Corn or Lily at 58. Don't know. Wait, more Lang audio? Sweet. Yeah, get, get excited for that. Uh, this next board, I believe this is the... Uh, this is the, like, it's the TX 75, but it's like the one that's got the acrylic base. Oh yeah. Yeah. With like the, the like metal top and acrylic base or like they had yeah. the option where you could get all acrylic. I think, I think that's it. It's Protein. Like this, in the EO H- line. Yeah, HJ five. HJ 75. Yeah. So really cool to see. I haven't really seen a lot of these, but you know, if you guys don't know TX keyboards, makes really solid keyboards, but they also make um, not that they aren't solid, but they, they have like kind of their higher line and then they have their kind of lower end models and not that they're lower end. They're just more affordable by taking out some of the things that are maybe seen more on higher end models. So like it doesn't need to be this giant metal case. They're going to cut costs by adding a plastic bottom. Right. Um, but you still get the cool layout. You still get the plate. Uh, you can still get brass plates with these boards. So just that's kind of a cool idea that they were able to shave down a lot of the cost on these. Yeah. Um, big question. Is that a, uh, 
Is that a desk mat? Because why was that not the GMK Cafe desk mat? If so. Um, but no, I like this. Um, I think it's a cool looking board. I haven't had the pleasure of typing on one of these quite yet. Um, I love the get good cap in the F13 spot. I also can appreciate this board not having a stupid top row for the <laughs> FDs and it being consistent across the board. I do understand the 0.5 space between the get good and delete key. Um, because that makes sense, because those are exploded keys. Uh, Zeno, looking at you, why do you have a weird <laughs> F row? <laughs> I love how much you hate that board. <laughs> I just I don't hate the board. I just hate the F row. Like why? Like do do even or do normal with a one U space? Don't do like a weird. Point seven five. Hey, Poner. <laughs> um, I don't. I just don't like the Fro. Fighting words. Um, but anyway, moving on to the next one. Another Mysterium. Another Mysterium. Uh, there it is. Okay. Ooh, this one has like a. Why does this one have like a pink hue to it? Is that because the acrylic has that? I have no idea. Whose is this? This is Scott. You, Scott, Scott W. If you are in chat, uh, you like the Casey strain poner. We need to talk about metal. Nice. You can talk about metal all day long in discord. Yes, <laughs> Buy frost acrylic. We can talk about it here, dude. Calm down. All right. I'll just go. We're not on a timetable. <laughs> um but yeah it's really a really cool board uh, another great use of dots i love that this kind of shows off all of dots right it's um with the tkl layout uh very neat yeah looks cool again i'm not a huge fan of dots i enjoy it but i don't love it if that makes sense why are there so many full backspace i just noticed that People haven't woken up yet. Have we had a single split? A 40 doesn't count. No, we haven't. Wow. I'm disappointed in you, chat. That's all good. All right. Next up. Oh, Mysterium only supports full backspace. Biggest drawback. Didn't know that. It'd be like that sometimes. I'm lucky, man. Who wants to pay that extra $2 for stabs and then spend an extra five minutes lubing it? TMO wins off technicality. <laughs> TMO wins. Um, next up, we have Nick's board. What is what is this? I don't know what this is. This is a forty percent nano. It's the what? You... Ant the nano? I think is that what it's called? Maybe. Damn it. I don't think it's the Equinox Neuron. That's like God. I'm bad with names. Tonight. Neuron. Yeah. Uh, I've typed on a few of these. Um, really it's a really cool little like compact board um i do enjoy it's very you know it's 40 percent are not something that uh why the one you tap i have no idea uh they're not something osiris and i have really played around with a whole lot um but it looks clean looks clean as fuck yeah it looks good i like the i like the aesthetic of having the guitar behind it Nice. Who doesn't like a little guitar aesthetic? Well, we'll get, little get fiddle functional. Thank you for the eight months tier one. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you so much. And then next up, we have the aforementioned Langlandia board that he built on his stream. Go follow him on Twitch. He streams every Saturday. Uh, he built this beautiful Iron 165 polycarbonate this past weekend with uh gm or not gmk but it's uh epbt double shot abs black on white with gmk blink uh gmk blink gmk pretty and pink pretty and GMK pink blink. sorry exactly sorry. shut down <laughs> whatever gmk pretty and pink 
you know, points off because the pretty in pink escape, uh, you know, it's just not centered. It just makes me feel bad. Lang F's in chat <laughs> for blink. Um, no, Great no, one. I mean, this looks fantastic and it sounds really good. I believe this has inks in it and it's got a silent switch in the escape and then a silent switch in the space bar. Um, it sounds really, really good. And it looks cool. I always love the aesthetic of the polycarbonate board with the brass plate, um, especially on boards where you can see it. Um, I think it looks good. I, uh, I like it. I think I would have liked it a lot more if I had the seven U bottom row, but you know, we can always, we can dream, right? I will, I will deduct the points for the 6.25 but I will add those points back for maintaining split backspace. There you go. The, the first only, one. The only reason why it is a pipe key is because I, that set doesn't support split backspace. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so it's a net zero for me on that, on there. that argument. I'm just shitting on Lang Cause you know, you got to, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's Lang. You got, you got to last up. From I when I looks like a um it looks like another one of these HJ boards, except it's not the HJ. This is a TXCP uh style board. It's the kind of the version down. Uh I when I let me know what the actual name of this board is. Got GMK uh Mandalorian or GMK Mandalore. Um I can't remember the exact one. It's the officially like Boba Fett. Boba Fett, whatever. It's Mandalore. <laughs> HJCP. Thank you, I when I. GMK Boba Fett, GMK Mandalorian, same thing. Um very cool looking board. Uh and I like the I like the picture with all of the Mandalorians uh chilling there on the uh on the yeah, Will has just input his our our Discord mod Willio has just input his vote for <laughs> I when I <laughs> Uh, you know, it's just it's I'm I'm glad we're starting to see more and more of these boards. Yeah, these are cool boards. It's one of those things that it it did get some attention, but for the most part, I think that that it it somewhat flew under the radar because they kind of released the same time as the uh, uh, the TX seventy five or the TX V two, um, and then the EO eighty seven, which was like the TKL that was like way similar style but had much more exaggerated acrylic bottom. Uh, those but got a lot of uh, content and a lot of support around them. Um, these look cool. I like the, I like the aesthetic. I like everything kind of matching. I think it looks cool. Yeah. So we did have one last uh, entry, by the way. Um, I did put the word break in there. So that's where we will stop at least on today's. Uh, this is a, I honestly I couldn't tell you because it's got it, it might be a Tina, but I don't actually know because it's got the traditional HHKB six point two five bottom row. I'm not, IBB. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't even look like a picture. This looks like a dang render <laughs> with that background. <laughs> uh, the IDB sixty um, with uh, you know not a split backspace, but but not a two U backspace. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, split backspace is kind of impossible with the. It ISO is, layout. but the fact that he's using a not a two you backspace props. True, true. The, this layout is quite interesting. It is a quite a wild layout. Um, this board looks cool. Clean. It is very clean. clean. What the hell is going on in the background, and why did you put your keyboard on top of all that water? That's my question. <laughs> it's i mean aesthetics man do it for the gram got bored i just want to like okay so someone in our in our discord put a picture of like the the dude with camping and it was like all the dirt and like sticks and leaves but it was like on his desk oh yeah Juan, did you do this did you do that did you like pour water all over the floor and be like oh this looks cool let me <laughs> take this picture Cause that would be hilarious. That would be. So we got to pick some boards. We do. We're going to, we do. We're going to take a couple moments to 
kind of think. We got some good options this week. Yeah, I've got mine. You've got yours. I think I've got mine as well. Let me right. go back here so I can I can get all the other ones closed out. So, all right. I know what I'm picking. Let me close these other ones. What? It, all right. We'll start with mine so you can. Yeah, which one's yours? So mine is going to be Ron DG's Jupiter 75. Uh, love the polycarb 75% board. Um, DMG looks fantastic on it. Um, outside of the tilde and the pipe key being alpha, let's slide. I think it's just a very clean looking board. Great picture as well. And I'm sure it sounds delicious. So Ron DG or yeah, Ron. Yeah. Ron DG is my vote putting it in the finals of tonight. All right, so that's the one Chewy was talking about. That is his final. Um, mine is going to be just because I love everything about not only just the board, but the picture as a whole. That's going to be Starstones or Type Beasts, as he is in the chat. The ALF X3 Renova. I love Hyperfuse Origins. It's no lie. Looks great. Uh, I love the... Um, like the insert of the board, how, how it's purple and it kind of matches it. It looks great. So I have started the poll. It's at the top of chat. You can vote for the X3 Renova by ALF or the Jupiter 75. So get those votes in on Twitch. So what do we got going on this week? So this week... I am building a prototype for a new Canon Keys board. Um, I'll be doing that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central or 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, be right here. Be building that up. It is a purple board. Uh, I don't know which set I'm putting on it, but, you know, since it's purple, it might be Hyperfuse Origins. Um, it might be something different. It might be minimal. It might be peaches and cream. We'll see. Play it by ear. Um, and then Wednesday we will be joined by Mr. SM keyboards who makes some fantastic scrap, um, stacked acrylic boards. Chewy built one a few weeks ago, which I know he is enjoying. Um, looks great. Finally get a use of that, that GMK deep space that I know you've been having lying around for a bit. Almost, almost six months. Yeah. It's, I remember cause it was up on originative and I remember you're like, I don't know if I should. And then you just had it all of a sudden. It, it was just a board that, or it was just a cap set that it was like on mech market for a really good price. I was just like, I'm not going to pass on this. I think this sets really, really good. And if I don't like it, I'll be able to make my money back. So, um, Wednesday surprise announcements. Maybe don't know yet. We'll see. Big pog. So I think, um, what I think the uh, the poll is very one sided. <laughs> I haven't looked. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> I love it. But yeah, guys, uh, be sure to tune in this week and as well. Um, let us know what you like, what you like, what you don't like about keyboard of the week. Um, we've got some awesome guests, and then one last thing that I think we can announce now. Um for next month what's going on next month so if you remember all the way back to july of 2019 so a year ago uh, we did something that we had dubbed uh, keycap creator month uh, where we basically we just every wednesday we talked to a different keycap designer a uh, different vendor interviewed them on our Wednesday streams. We will be bringing that back. So next month will be all different keycap designers. We're going to have a bunch of different people, uh, some different guys that haven't been on anything like this yet. Um, so it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. Get to ask some questions for some people that you maybe haven't had the chance to just yet. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we're yeah really excited to get that back in. Um, did say that Mr. Tight Beast um, did win. So the Alf X3 is your keyboard of the week. So congratulations to Tight Beast. Congratulations to the Alf X3 uh, Renova. It's the winner. You have yourself a good night with that setup. Um, yeah, any absolutely. leaks for that? Do we want to leak? We've got. You, you want to leak one, Chewy? Uh, we don't have any artisans coming on. Uh, well, we we may. Let me look at our calendar real quick. Um, any leaks for the key crap creator month? I can, I'll give you. Guests. I'll give you. I'll give you one. Um, one we had on last year. I'll leave you with that. And one, let's just do something dumb. Uh, one can't see himself in a mirror. And I'll leave it at that. They're not going to get that because I don't even know who you're talking about. So Ooh. feels Ooh. good, man. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so, but yeah, let's, uh, who's going to raid? Oh, man. What do we want to do? What do we want to do tonight? Let me see. Let me take a gander. Tis your turn. Um. So and then we we still have a couple more spots that we're uh, that we're filling out. Uh, we are so on Monday streams. We are going to be raiding people outside of the community, um, to try and extend our extend the keyboard reach to the outside world uh tuesdays and wednesdays we will uh get those we'll get the the other ones supported for sure but um yeah we want to you know show us your keyboard to a bunch of other people let's see trying to find dude i don't know Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was I'm, like really confused for a second. Dude, <laughs> no, I'm I'm trying to find someone to host and this guy's screaming. Well no, he's like uh I hate these ads. Oh. Um is it, is it bounty? It's not bounty, it's uh alienware. Oh. And it's not Trojan, which still blows my mind that Trojan does ads on Twitch now. So yeah, uh, this guy, he's not, man, he's not making anything right now. Dang it. He's a woodworker, which was super. That's dope. In fact, I want, uh, I know this guy has a lot of viewers, but I want to host him because what he does is really cool. And I think more people need to do it. And he's also super humble, super nice. Um, it's a guy named bro X H underscore. He does like traditional, um, like he's from New Zealand, I believe. And he does traditional like tiki style, like the big giant ones. Uh, he does those. Nice. Um, so you might not want to hit him with what are you typing on where you could, cause he does play games. I know he does play, um, world of Warcraft. He's a super nice guy. Great to watch. Uh, you know, he, he may have a keyboard. Don't sub or donate to him because he will then get mad at you. So just give him a follow. Enjoy the stream. Well, all right. He, Boom. There it is. Show us your keyboard. See if he even has a keyboard. So hopefully, you know, you know, you'd think if you're streaming, you might have one. But who, who am I to judge, right? Uh, but thank you guys again very much for the fun stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys come tomorrow uh, to see what we've got in stock for the uh, for this prototype board um, with Osiris tomorrow. So be sure to I'll give you one hint. It's got red inks in it. <laughs> if you couldn't understand my uh, anger about it earlier, that's why. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, thank you guys very much. I switched tester. <laughs>